Welcome to a brand new video. How is everyone doing? You would have seen that we just popped to oh, uh, B and Q, B &Q, B &Q say, to get some plants. I've said that we always wanted a plant in the hallway on the table that we got, and then also upstairs in the bedroom as well. And I picked up a cushion. So we thought we'd pop quickly to B and Q whilst we're both at home. Ooh. And then when we get back, Wade is going to have a session with the drill. Yeah, that Wade sounds weird, session. Isn't it? I've not got a session with the drill. The drill's <laughs> got a session with me. <laughs> that sounds so it. strange. I've got, I've got to get it open anyway, so I've got a couple of photos and stuff to put up and frames and picture frames and whatnot. And, and shelves. Shelves. And curtains. A lot of stuff going off tonight. We've got a lot of stuff to do, but Wade likes to collect them all and then do it all at one, one go. Time. I put my drill on. I go around everywhere, drill the holes I need to drill, yeah, and sit down. He doesn't like to do it piece by piece. So we've been collecting stuff over the last week or so to put up. Kiara's curtains have been a long time coming, so we need to get those up. And we've been, well, Wade has been a busy bee this morning trying to sort out her bedroom so that we can just get all the stuff out there. Like I said in the last video, we were using it a little bit of storage over the last week. So before she comes this weekend, we wanted to make sure that it was all lovely and tidy in there for her. And put the, the dresses in there that we got from Facebook Marketplace. But obviously that's going to have its upcycling begin maybe this weekend, maybe next. I'm not sure what I'll start with first. Either that or the shelves that are in the front room. But either way, we put it, Wade, I keep saying we, I didn't do it. Wade, Wade put it in Key's room and put some stuff on it so it all looks very pretty. So we are on our way back now. And then when we get back, I've got to do a couple of bits of work and then Wade is gonna start getting stuff, stuff up. So we will show you that. And my prints from Desenio came today and the picture shelf's going up on the wall so we can get all those out and I can show you all the bits. So I think this is gonna be a very homely video with some home improvements, which I think a lot of you guys like anyway. So whenever we do a moving vlog, then it is the one that's probably more enjoyed. So we're on moving vlog. Now. Although they're not really moving vlogs, they're more like renovation vlogs, but I've just kept the title of moving vlog. Like DIY, DIY vlogs. Yeah, but I've kept it as a moving vlog. Maybe I should start to phase it out and say Probably moving made, slash uh, reno. Yeah. Maybe I should say moving slash renovation vlog 13 and then we sort of phase out the moving and then just go into the renovation vlog. Maybe we should do that. But we'll see you when we get home. In here. All right, evening, guys. It is ten past five, and it is still light outside, which is lovely. I am about to sort out the hallway and put the plant in their plants in their places. I want to repot this one because you can see the orange sort of pot coming out of it. But these are the two plants that we picked up from B and Q. So this one is a dragon tree plant and this one is a foliage <laughs> it's called a foliage and that one was originally going to be for the bedroom and that one for the hallway but we're thinking maybe we just swap them around and actually have that one in the hallway with that pot and the other way around because this one the dragon tree has a green i'm gonna say a stem that's not a stem is it what's the Nope. No, it's not a stalk. I can't think what the thing of the tree is called. My mind's gone blank. That bit <laughs> is green. Huh? So I think it would match the bedroom better because obviously we've got a green vibe going on up there. So I need to switch these around and I'm going to repot the foliage plant into that pot and then we're going to get it in this space here with the table that we got the other day from Amazon. 
So I'm going to put you somewhere and we're going to repot the plant and then we'll do a bit of watering and get it all in its place. And then after that, we're going to go upstairs and start putting stuff on the walls. Wade is currently eating a snack and playing games, so he's going to have to get off that to go upstairs and get the drill out and start doing that. And I've got my Miss Bonnie. Here's my assistant. Very, very relaxed. There's only two more things I want to get in this hallway now. So, Wade is currently in the cupboard trying to get a drill. But, <laughs> if you excuse him. <laughs> this is the hallway. So we've got the Amazon basket sort of faux plant there. And we've got our new real tree that we just picked up from b &Q. Or plant, it's not a tree, is it? It's a plant. And then on our table, I'm, I've just ordered a gold watering can to sit underneath there, which we'll just perch at the bottom. That is coming tomorrow. And then obviously we've done all the light switches. We've got this area here. So I think, let me move this so that it's not in the way. So I think the last thing I'd like to get is a hallway runner just here. And then I think that will be everything in the hallway. I think that will be done. We, oh, and the plug socket actually. Sorry, we need to change that as well to the same colour as the light switch. So we will do that. Although you might need an electrician because I'm not sure how you change plug sockets. And then that will be the hallway done. The only other thing that we do want to do is change our front door. We aren't a massive fan of the front door and it just doesn't let in any light. So it makes the hallway quite dark. So we have to always keep these lights on. So if we could get a front door that had glass in it, then it would let in some light from outside and then just brighten up this space quite a lot. So we were also looking into front doors. We did get stopped on our way out of B&Q from Ross trying to sell us a front door. Although I was, I didn't have loads of time because it was at lunchtime. So we was trying to get out quite quickly and he started to go on and on about something to do with a house in France. I didn't really get the gist of it. The geezer. Yeah. Yeah, he's about to tell us a story, and he? He, he was an old chap, innit? I remember him saying a maison do something. Yeah, he bought a house in, in France. Massive. Massive. I house. remember him saying that he turned the light switch on and the whole circuit blew. After that, my brain was just diverted to the time because yeah, I didn't I have loads of time left. So I don't know how we got from that, from, from doors to right <laughs> now. But. We was, we was there for it for like maybe five minutes but yeah after that i just needed to get out of yeah, there so after that, we did get a brochure but tangent we are looking for a new front door so we'll get that in the next few weeks Indeed. so i'm thinking babe last thing is literally this socket yeah and a runner yeah and we're done we're done for now for now for now yeah down here anyway yeah i'm happy where did you want to do the first uh, uh do you want to start in keys room yeah, sure. yeah, I think we start in Key's room. Let's go. Let's bring Miss Bonnie. Come, bum bum. Um, get the other gate because I use that to hold this one open, so that she can come down and go to the toilet. Just in case, isn't it, bum bum? dark outside now so I'm turning blue. Right, light on. Alright, do you want to start with the biggest job? Any job. Which is the curtains? Oh, no job. I think we start with the curtains. 
All right, let me perch you. Should we start on that one? Start on this one here. Let's get you up somewhere. Let's get you on a time lapse while we do these curtains. sorting out to do Kiara's curtains and we realised we didn't have any of the curtain hooks that you need to attach the curtain to the circles that are on the curtain pole, if that made any sense. Um, I'm sure I had a bag somewhere but I just can't find it anywhere. I'm sure I definitely put a whole bag of them next, like in Kiara's room so that when we got to it like they were there but I, I just can't find them anywhere i looked upstairs i literally pulled out everything from the storage cupboard i've looked down here can't find them anywhere so wade has popped to b m first to see if they're there if not he's gonna have to go to Dunelm, which is a little bit of a drive away but we said that we wanted to do them today so he's gone and done that and then we're sort of trying to run against time at the moment because it's currently 25 past seven and we want to try and get as much as we can this evening because obviously once wade gets into his sash like i said he wants to do his sash so we are trying to get as much done as we can tonight we are only on curtain pole number one and that's about it so we've got quite a lot to put up so hopefully we get most of it done I thought I would just quickly, while Wade was out, show you what I got. Let me put my hand over the... It's very awkward. Decenio order, because I ordered some print from Decenio. Now, I must say, Decenio is a little bit more pricey than what I thought it would be. I hear about it, you hear about it all the time from like different influencers, but I did find like a 50% code from an influencer so I used that so it took quite a lot of money off of them and I must say like the one good thing about it is that you can choose exactly what you want so obviously other things that we've got in the house like the Venice canvas and also the prints that I got for Kiara's room when I went to Home Bargains they were just like fly by find something pick it up buy it not really sure what you're going to get, but if you get something good, you get a bargain, then thumbs up, that type of thing. But you don't actually choose what you want, whereas obviously on Decenio, there are thousands of prints that you can choose from. And you can put them together to work out exactly what you wanted. And you can choose frames for them. Now again, the frames I could have got probably from Ikea for a little bit cheaper. But I've not seen these ones in Ikea before, because Ikea mostly do like wooden or black frames. Whereas I decided to go for... I don't know if I had to see it and hide my head. Gold frames. So I thought they would look lovely on the picture ledge. So obviously it's a black picture ledge, which is going to go in the hallway, and you're going to have the black picture ledge on one wall, and then on that wall is going to be the DIY mirror. So it's a lot of black going on. So I thought to offset the black, we can have gold frames. So I did purchase the frames at the same time as purchasing the prints. So I got three gold frames. And then the prints that I got, which come in this lovely little cardboard, were, and I do really love these prints, I think they are the cutest thing in the world. So the first one I picked up, oh yeah they are good quality to be honest, I've never actually got anything from Desenio before, and they are better than what I would probably print on my own printer. So the first one I got was this one. So it's a hot air balloon and it says, oh, the places you'll go. And I thought that was just the sweetest thing ever. How cute is that? So loved that one. And then I thought, because it was a bit of an escape print, it sort of made you feel like you was escaping your life, the places you'll go, up in the hot air balloon. Then I thought we could do like a bit of a escapism picture shelf. So the second one I got was this scene here, which is like a, is that called a, yet, a jetty? I was gonna say a yeti, a jetty? 
I think it's a jetty that goes out into the ocean and I just thought the, the colours of it would match perfectly to the hallway so you've got that sort of creamy pinky vibe and then again it's just like that like escapism type feeling that I thought would look lovely together and then the third one I got was this which is just more hot air balloons but I thought those three together so imagine these three oh I don't want to bend them these three on the picture ledge would just create that that sense of wanting to get away and feeling something different out of your normal life and when I walk down the stairs from my what will be my dressing room and I go past my lovely DIY mirror and I look at the picture ledge and see that like sense of escapism I thought what a lovely view to see every single day so they're the ones that I chose so I'm going to get them in the frames and then so that they'll be ready for when Wade gets back because when he puts up the picture ledge on the wall then so I'm trying to open the thing up with a really weird face when Wade puts them up the picture ledge up on the wall then I can literally just then put the print straight on there so I'll get them in the frames and I'll show you what they look like once they're in their frames just got the prints in their frames and oh they're the cutest thing ever I actually love them so much so this was the vibe that I was going for so exactly like this so the big hot air balloon with all the places you'll go in the middle and then the two either side because they got that more like pinky hue to them and this is how I sort of planned it out when I was looking on the Desenio website so I think this is definitely how they're going to go on the picture shelf but I absolutely love them I would say slightly overpriced but I am very very happy with them so I'm glad that I did go to Desenio for them to be honest because I think they'll look lovely up on the picture shelf and then when Wade gets back and we actually get it up then I'll show you what it looks like when it's up on the wall but very happy with that purchase. Camera battery died mid assembly but that is the doggy car seat. I think it's really cute for the fact that it comes probably from China and it was off Amazon. I think that is pretty perfect so I just put in the sort of stuffed sausage into that section and then you cook on the velcro pads to the back of it so it sits upright and then that bit there and at the back you can then loop around the car seat and then it's got this little seat belt so you sort of hook that onto your dog's collar we normally hook it onto a harness but i think that would be so much better for her she'll be a lot more comfy in the car and she won't roam around the back seat and it will also keep wade's car a little bit less hairy from bonbon's fur but I'm quite happy with that and it comes with that storage bag as well so when Wade's not using it in the car then he can just pop it in the storage bag and put it in the boot so those are the purchases for today that is our big spring home decor haul which I will show you tomorrow because I've got that and I've got a bag of stuff as well in the front room and I was waiting for everything to arrive that was the parcel that we've been having absolute nightmares with from parcel force they couldn't find the address but it's because we live in a new build our address doesn't come up on every single sat nav so they just said that they couldn't find the address and then they just refused to bring it so i had to phone up i must have phoned about four or five times and it's been about three weeks now since i ordered that so eventually they brought it today when they when the woman came past the window i was like it's parcel force get the door now don't let them leave like i've been waiting for it for so long and we finally got the parcel in so Big box there, it's obviously been battered. It's so funny as well, I won't show you because it shows you all the maps and stuff, but someone had to actually print a map, like from Google Maps, a satellite version, onto the box to prove to them that it's actually a house and you can deliver it. So, funny times. Um, but I've got that and I've got a whole bag of stuff in the front room to show you as well. So we'll do that all tomorrow when I'm looking a little bit fresher and feeling a bit fresher because now I need to go upstairs and mark the holes for Wade of where he's going to drill in the next curtain pole so that when he comes in it's a lot quicker and he doesn't have to faff around with working out where the hole should go so I'm going to get a piece of tape we learnt this little trick on TikTok I think it was or Instagram Reels where you put you tape behind the item like your masking tape and then you mark where the holes are on the tape and then you just then put the tape on the wall and then it just tells you where to draw the holes so it's actually a really good trick that we never thought of I feel like I can hear Wade's music so he's outside and I've run out of time because I've been showing you stuff so He's not going to be that happy. <laughs> but um, yeah, let me quickly tidy this mess up, run upstairs, and then 
Oh, there he is. He's here. He's here. Babe, I'm sorry, I was unboxing this stuff, so I didn't, um, I didn't unbox the spring stuff. I'm leaving that till tomorrow. But I was unboxing this other stuff because I wanted to show you. Look at Bonnie's car seat. Is it? Yeah. Hey, girly. Do you hey, think it's quite good? Hey, hey, I like it. So it hooks onto the seat, the seat and then it's got its own seat belt. Oh, look at that. That you then hook onto her harness. Oh, I'm proud of that for you. It's good, isn't it? Have you tried it out, Bonbo? No, <laughs> come look. This show is me. yours. Show me. Go on. Go on. Go on. Sit in it. Sit. Sit in it. Good girl. She's like, never again. <laughs> sorry, girl. Oh, sorry, Bonbon. Bon. Should we try it? Try again. Come on. We just need to see if it fits. Or if it's too small. Because she is getting a bit larger yeah, now. But remember, look, you, so we can put this down. Yeah. So further, she has a bit more. Yeah. You see it? And then she can... Oh, yeah, it's longer. Oh, that's yeah. good. So like that, and then we can just extend Oh this. yeah, that's fine then, so she will go to yeah. fit. Yeah. Come, Come try on. it. Come on. Come on. Nothing will fall on you. Come on. Trust Come. us. Come on. Come on. She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Go Look, nice. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Is that a little <laughs> she try? Walked straight Come back in, out. second try round. Come on in. Can we lay down in here? Come lay. Come lay down. Good girl, lay down. Lay down, girl. That's it. Good girl. Can you Yay. lay down? I've got a treat if you can. Lay down. Can lay? Get down. Lay down. 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 She knows there's no treat involved. She's like, yeah, right. Lay down. Yeah, right. Lay down, girl. Go on. Lay down, girl. No, no, nothing in my hand now. I'll go get one after you. Yeah? Lay down. Go on, lay. Lay. Come on, lay. She's not there, she knows it. Lay. Go on, girl. Good girl. Good girl. There you are. See? Comfy. Just a little bit of perseverance. Come on, let's fall mm. again. She'll have a heart attack. Mm. No, I'm in. I thought that would be much better for your car, though, than on the back seat. And this is her pour cleaner. Oh, yeah, so you just put it straight in? Yeah, you water, put yeah? water in there and then you just pop her pour in. And it should like. They say it cleans it and it's soft. Yeah. We'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. You never know. Right now I'm standing in the corner. I see you from across the room. It's kind of crowded here, but I know you see me too. Everybody's singing, oh. Everybody singing, oh, I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so old. You're looking so old. Now I'm moving closer to you, and it's getting dark in this room. Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love, let me love Baby, let me love you Can I just say, I never ever realised this And we've had this bedding since we moved in but we have the panda bamboo bed in, absolutely love it. But I never even realised that until the other day I tried it out and it helped so much. Was that on the corners of the quilt it has these little, like a little piece of fabric. And then in the duvet cover, it then has strings on the on each of the four corners. And then you tie it, use the strings and tie it around that little piece there. And then obviously when you then do what you need to do with your quill, it stays in place, it doesn't move around.
in your eyes I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you It's almost like you make me fly And when I look at you smile I don't know how but it feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you It feels like I'm drunk on you Good morning. It is now the next day. So I was looking at Bonnie because she just ran past me upstairs. It is now the next day. We did a lot yesterday. Like we did a lot. We got through a lot. And I'm very, very proud of Wade for how much he did because normally he like he can do an hour or two and then he starts to get a little bit frustrated. So he did really, really well. We didn't get everything done that we planned, but I did think that was a bit of an adventurous mission. And it would have been quite a lot late at night because there was some of it involved like soaring which would have been too loud i think for the neighbors so we're gonna do that another day but i wanted to show you what we did do so we did loads we have put up stuff in the hallway kiara's room looks a million times better i don't know if you would have spotted it from the clips from when i showed the facebook marketplace furniture in the vlog before the last but the room was an absolute mess so that looks lovely now and also our bedroom looks lovely so i want to show you all of that so, first stop, we are currently next to our DIY mirror, and this is where we put up the pictures and the Decenio prints. So, if I turn you around, these are the Decenio prints in all their glory. So, we've got them on the black picture ledge, which I got from IKEA, and then we've got the three prints, which I think look beautiful in their gold frames. I think it looks lovely having it gold with the black because now you can see in the reflection the prints and I think if it was too black I didn't want it to look too dark and moody so I think with the gold it just adds a little bit of a pop to it so I think this particular area now looks beautiful like if you look here you can see the lanterns you can see the reflection in the mirror and then you can see the prints so very very happy with this particular space I need to get something for that vase wade put the vase up here because that vase was originally for the toilet downstairs but then we ended up getting a different one the one from dunelm that one i got from etsy and i'm obsessed with it i love it it's all handmade but we couldn't find or think of somewhere to put it sorry i think wade is phoning me right give me a sec i'll be back in two ticks all right sorry we just had an electrician in so i just wanted to give wade an update on what he was saying because we want to put up an led bathroom cabinet anyways back to this so i want to get something to put in that vase potentially some more pampas or maybe some greenery maybe just some big green leaves i'm really loving the green vibe now that we've got the plants everywhere else so potentially maybe some big green leaves actually i might put there instead of pampas because pampas makes it soft whereas i think green is very warming so potentially that but that's this little area, so I just need to do that. I was also thinking, I remember I bought this basket from H&M when we like first moved in. I think I got it from H&M home. Yeah, I did. Still got the tag on it from when we first moved in. And I'm thinking to hang it from, because we've got a sloping ceiling there. So to hang it from the sloping ceiling so it comes down and potentially put in some plants in there as well. So that might be the next idea. I do need to run out and get quite a lot of plants because from what I'm about to show you in the bedroom, we need to do that as well. Although you would have seen a sneak peek actually when we were making the bed last night. So you would have sneak peeked what the bedroom looks like. But I need to get quite a lot of plants for that. So, Bonnie, whenever you come up here, you always steal my socks. Come, come. Let's go down. All right, next room is Kiara's room. So, if you remember the mess that it was in before, it is now looking very lovely we want to change her sheets to the sage green ones but what i've done is i've also made the bed and i've changed her cushion there so that cushion was let it snow because obviously it was still a very festive cushion so i've changed it to a nice floral spring one i got actually a pack of those from amazon i'll show you in a second the other ones because i'll do a spring home decor homeware haul in a sec but i think that particular cushion makes it look a lot brighter in here a lot more spring like and then my favorite wall is probably this one and let me turn the light on because i feel like you're not getting the full effect still going to be hard because we're going against the light here but how sweet does that look i think it looks so pretty and oh you're not going to see it. it looks so dark how do we maybe if i go a bit closer it will readjust itself yeah so we've got the 
sage green curtains with the pink tie backs so with the tassels. We've got these everywhere all around the house, but in different colours because we've got cream ones in our room and we've got blue ones. We've got blue ones downstairs or gold ones? Can't remember now. But we've got them all around the house because I absolutely love them. I like how the effect of them, like the rope around it goes. You all hear Bonnie currently going crazy and running around upstairs. Um, and then we put up the gold curtain rail as well and I just think they look so sweet in here. I love how they've turned out. On the windowsill, this was all here before, so just a variety of sage and green and a pink diffuser just to add that colour. Obviously it's a pink and sage room, so we've just added various different colours around. And then we've got the three prints up here which I picked up from Home Bargains the other day. We wanted to put it quite like abstract, so not in a line or not in a row of three but quite a sort of abstract view and i think the colors of them just complement this room perfectly not too much just adding in some like earthy neutral tones in there as well without being overly pink and sage although the room is very pink and sage but i think they look lovely and then on the other side we put up the other print which we got from home bargains the other day as well and i think that is quite a standalone one so very happy with this particular wall and then over here We've got my favourite purchase I think I ever got when we first moved in, which is the pink laughing hippo. I absolutely love him. Um, I got him from Fab Home Interiors and I got quite a few quirky bits from there. So whenever I think I want something a bit quirky, I do look on Fab Home Interiors. So love him. And then we just put the chair in there for now. I'm not sure if this will stay here. This was originally in our bedroom, but we're thinking about what to do with it. Mirror in the corner so she can still see her outfits pink sort of seating area there and then this is the current dresser obviously you know that we're upcycling this so it won't look like this for very long but we thought for this weekend so she can use it as a bit of a usable space and a beauty area with the mirrors we've just set it out for her so she's got her hair bits there hair brushes clips elastics type thing and then i just done her revolving sort of lazy susan and put all of her hair bits on there as well. So I thought that would look lovely for her when she comes this weekend so that she's got somewhere cute to sit. She loves TikTok, she's a teenager, so she loves TikTok, she loves taking pictures. So I thought at least if we can make it look like this, then good job. So very, very happy with how this room's turned out. And obviously they're the bedside tables that we had in our room as well, but I think they complement this room perfectly because her bed is a lot lower than ours. So the bedside tables don't look disproportionate whereas in our room we was able to get away with the higher bedside tables that we got from facebook marketplace what are you chewing on i find these things i'm constantly putting my sorry that thumb didn't go well with painting um but anyways i'm constantly finding things to get out of bonnie's mouth you're always finding something like how do you even find this where did it come from i would never have even found it bonbon <sighs> And then the last room is our bedroom and I am in love. So we have put the new plant in the corner with the wicker basket and I know someone on our previous video also said they think a plant would have looked lovely in this corner and I think he was absolutely right and I'm obsessed with it. So got the plant in the corner in the wicker basket and then we put up this trellis which I got from Ikea, and again, it just adds warmth to the room. I don't like the bare walls, the bare walls drive me mad, so just having that just adds so much warmth to the room. And what I've done is I've ordered some macrame pot holders, and I'm gonna get some plants, so hang some pot holders on there, and then some more plants, so that'll be even more green, and then that'll be like a little green oasis. And then I've just added a new pillow, we changed the sheets last night, if you don't know, we use panda bamboo bedding and I'm obsessed with it. Best bedding I've ever had in my life. This is the bamboo and French linen mix. I think this is my favorite one. We've also got the 100% bamboo, but I think this one is my particular favorite. And I like that sort of creamy color. I think it works well with the white big cushions at the back and also the green headboard. And then that is the new cushion. I changed the one that had like the leopards on it. Um, I wasn't a big fan of it and I think this one just looks a lot better. And obviously it's bringing a bit more greenery and a bit more spring into the room. We picked up that cushion from B&Q when we got the plants yesterday. So very, very happy with how this room is currently looking. We haven't got that much more left to do in here to be honest. I wanna do some 
wood slats at the back and then greenery and then I want to get a TV for this wall here because we currently use a laptop to watch TV in here but I want to get a TV but I really want to get one of those frame TVs but we were looking at the, de the other day and the reviews weren't that great on it so we're a bit unsure but I just like the fact that it's a picture until you watch TVs because TVs let's face it they're not the most attractive thing are they so I would much prefer to have a frame TV because I think that would look a lot nicer in here but we'll see We'll see where we get to. Are you eating my plant now, Bum Bum? <laughs> right, let's go downstairs. And what's the time? I've got a landscape gardener coming at one. I'm going to talk about my garden plans in the next vid. But I've got a landscape gardener coming at one. I just saw an electrician. So plans are happening. So I need to see what time it is. It is 12.37. Oh, do we have enough time to go through the spring hall? maybe not i think what i'll do is i'll have the appointment with the landscape gardener and then afterwards i'll jump back on and talk through the spring stuff also as an update because i can see it in the camera it looks like i've been punched in the eye but that is just a bruise from the tear trough filler that i had six days ago now so it's healing but i do bruise like a peach and i do bruise very easily so I'm left with a little bit of a bruise. I went on the phone to my mum yesterday. She was like, what's that on your eye? I was like, don't worry. It is just... Oh my gosh, Bunny. That's so naughty. She just got dirt out of the tree, out of the plant, and put it all over the carpet. Now I'm going to have to hoover and clean. Very naughty. That's naughty. Look, she knows it's naughty as well because she's giving me the face. Look at what you've done to the carpet. Very naughty. Get a puppy, they said. It'll be fun, they said. No, I love her. Come on, Bum Bum. Let's have lunch. Should we have lunch? Yeah. Let's have lunch. So I will see you after my appointment. Oh, just... Sorry, my brain goes on so much tangents. It's crazy. It jumps and jumps and jumps. Did I finish off my eye thing? It's a bruise. I know it should start to heal. And what I'll do is I'll give you an update as we go forward to show you what it looks like without the bruise because it does look a bit look a bit strange there. But I'll keep giving you updates so you know what's going on. And I'll also take you to my six week top top up as well because I know that a few people are interested in that. But let me stop rambling because I ramble and ramble. And then let's talk after the garden. Hey guys, sorry, I'm just in the process of editing this video and I realise that we're already on 38 minutes. So if I put the haul in this one, then it will just take it to like near an hour. So I'm going to split them up and I'm going to end this one here and then I'm going to put the haul in on a separate video, probably on Thursday. So hope that's okay. But thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I'll see you in the hall on Thursday.